Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I'm bringing you Monk Monday number 104, I think is today. Thank you so much to anybody who submits their gameplay and watched this. I couldn't be more thankful. I appreciate it so much. For those of you who don't know what that is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here. It's also in the description. Uh, PvP, PvE, Mistweaver, Windwalker, 2s, 3s, RBGs, Mythic Plus, Rating, doesn't matter. I critique it. I review it. I think one of the best ways to improve at WoW is to have somebody watch your gameplay, and I think it's really helpful. So, And if you're too shy to submit any gameplay, I highly recommend recording your own gameplay and watching it back. Very, very helpful. Use OBS. It's free. Just watch your games. It's, it's so great for learning. So today we have Eckers, who says there are four videos for me to look at, and... I've got no shame in my games. You should never have any shame. No one here is ever going to judge you, I promise. If they ever do get judged, they get banned instantly. But no one, I don't think I've ever had to do that. No one will ever judge you. Um, one decent win and three super annoying losses. <laughs> yeah. I feel like whenever I lose, it's always just super annoying. Because um, it's like one mistake and you lose. All three losses were pretty typical for last night. Assassination manages to get a clean. Yeah, Vendetta Subsist. Yeah, it sucks versus Sub Rogues or Assassination Rogues and, and Sub Rogues. Uh, my partner dies, usually the second one, but it happens on the first one occasionally. The other comp I'm struggling with, which I feel like I shouldn't be, is DK Melee. It's it, DK is pretty tough. It is blasted hot on me, a partner through my cooldowns, have globals. As always, thanks and enjoy. Eckers, of course, man. Yeah, let's take a look. Uh, DKs aren't, I mean, uh, DKs are tough for sure. Um, but it looks like we're playing Mistweaver out of, it looks like Fury Warrior, yeah, because we have the Enraged Regeneration here. So, against Assassination Rogue, against Assassination Rogue Holy Priest, it's this. I've I've beaten a lot of Assassination Rogues that Q went to. One thing I would say, as soon as you get kidneyed, port. Like, I, I, I like, especially if they're on you. If they're on your DPS, if they're on your DPS, you have to trinket because unless you unless they really think that unless they use all their cooldowns and you really think that they can live, but this is tough. Um, we're sap full, and there's vendetta sepsis on your warrior. So we see the debuff here. We'll see how it goes. Um, mind game. So this is where it gets a little hard. If we had an interrupt on that mind games, I think we'd be fine right now. But the reason why mind game sucks is because. Well, we haven't used... There's the Ranger Rage Regeneration. Now, your warrior is going to be taking damage instead of healing. Just keep your just keep that in mind. So, um, on top of all this damage, you know, mind games is going to be hurting. But you do get... Your warrior does really good fears. So, you get both trinkets from the other team, which is really, really good. We use Life Cocoon. Probably didn't have to um shiv is down vendetta is halfway done i don't see sepsis anymore um there's also i thought i saw a step kick but maybe maybe i'm blind i could have sworn i saw a, ste uh, a shadow step get used but maybe not uh life cocoon is fine if they have shadow step because they can go for the shadow step kick i would assume you're also using some kind of disarm so you disarm when you two but overall really good job you know not using trinket in the opener is pretty good um and yeah, nice drop. That's evasion as well from the rogue. Be careful pushing in here. Just because the priest kind of has fear soonish. There's in cap. We have leg sweeper song. Leg sweep is good. Smoke bomb on your warrior. We trinket it. I don't even know what damage this is. I'm gonna be honest. No idea what damage that was. That was that was kind of weird because I feel like Oh, resonator. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, maybe if you had a chance to like get in, I know you get blinded full here, but if there was a chance, to, as soon as you trinket, you like run into the resonator. But that's okay. I would just say overall, don't push in versus rogue priest ever. Um, there are some exceptions to this, obviously. Um, we went in for CC on the rogue when he had evasion up. I mean, evasion was probably going to go down kind of soon. Six seconds. I guess it's a little, it's just a little late, I guess. I, I guess evasion's down now. I guess it's not bad. Um, but it, he does get put, your warrior does get put into a full kidney shot. And I think we trinket the, uh, you both trinket here, which I think is a little bit of a problem. Uh, this is the last thing you want to do because now you, neither of you have trinket. I mean, he used blind, but the problem is holy priest have the chastise and the fear so consistently that... It really doesn't matter because next go is just gonna be a kidney shot on your warrior or you with the chest it's probably gonna be your warrior and then chastise fear on you so they the problem is like they have really consistent goes and it just is sucks for you really uh good, good job juke in the rogue there 
kind of a waste of port. Now they can kill either of you, so just be careful. Um, but the biggest problem with this game so far, your healing is great, by the way. You make sure you put Renewing Mist on your warrior. The healing is great and, and everything. The only problem is we overlap trinkets. You're not in CC right now, which is really nice, and you're able to heal through this. But there's a Chastise and the Fear, and we'll see if there's like a late Sepsis or just a ton of damage. There's Mind Games. I guess it's really not that bad. It's really, it, it's really, yeah, just start healing. Just start healing. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. Don't freak out. Perfect. I would put a Renewing Mist on your Warrior, though. Put a Renewing Mist on your Warrior. That was Shadow Step from the Rogue. Perfect. Disarm on the Rogue. You're doing fantastic. You're doing fantastic. This is this is great. This is uh, this is a great job. Now it's a little scary. The rogue just rushed their go because the priest doesn't have fear yet. So now I would I know I feel like you're about to CC the priest. Just be careful because your warrior is in CC. Wait, do we just die here with sepsis? I that's that's actually incredible. That's actually incredible. I mean, That's that's a root view. I mean that that is uh, it, what sucks is that you did overlap trinket. That's that's because for this go you could have trinketed or your warrior could have trinketed done something like trinket fear potentially. Um, but yeah, it, it it sucks that you die that way because sepsis just lands. It sucks <laughs> uh, vendetta sepsis. So um, overall, I think you played this game very well. I and like I I think you played it great. Healing wise, you're fantastic. Disarm was great. Uh, overlap with trinket. That's the only mistake it takes, though. I, I mean, I, it sucks. But if you overlap a trinket, it's, it's over. It's, it's, it's over. So, um, you're probably using voice. Maybe not using voice. I don't. I see that you're typing, so you're probably not using voice. Usually with my teammates, I say if you see blind, don't trinket. Um, because blind is mostly how healers should react to cooldown is it, it, it's a cooldown healer should react to if i feel like i can sit it i'll sit it if i feel like i can't i'll trink and use cooldowns that's that's pretty much how it goes so if you i know it was smoke bomb blind but you you know it wasn't sepsis so i don't think it needed both your trinkets so uh, another assassination rogue which i'm really not surprised with uh sap on you great blade storm from your warrior it looks like convoke great stop on that with fear kidney shot on your warrior so i'm assuming this is probably just gonna blind you straight off the rip here nice storm bolt um we do overreact a little bit oh my god sorry my dog's here i don't see vendetta uh from the rogue. yeah but careful here the rogue has not used vendetta and we just used our 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 regen and our life cocoon so it's a little bit scary and your warrior used trinket so we just overlapped a lot and you need to be careful your warrior will probably die next go uh that's barkskin from the druid which is pretty good and trinket that was trinket barkskin from the druid uh druid could be a kill target if he is playing night phase so he actually is a pretty decent kill target I'm more worried for your warrior because without trinket they can't, they can't get a smoke bomb so that's also evasion from the rogue iron bark's gonna be down soon so yeah this is gonna be interesting i don't know how this is gonna play out i feel like they're gonna go your warrior they're gonna blind you um we have trinket if we have trinket revival we should be fine uh revival would make you immune to the damage we actually eat that cyclone right here we definitely could have stopped this cyclone um we don't have flat oh do we have rop Oh, I guess we don't have Fleshcraft or Incap. Just whenever you see the Cyclone, try to roll away from it. Like completely. I, first of all, I think you want to be on this side of the pillar. You, This is the wrong side of the pillar you want to go on. You always want to be with your teammate. Even though you want to play 40 yards away. You always want to have your teammate in line. Especially since you're always going for a Storm Bolt here. So just you, you, I think we just went around the wrong side of the pillar. And it, we, you go on this side of the pillar over here. Because now your Warriors LOS have you. You can't really do anything. And he can't do anything for you. So, yeah, we kind of just eat the Cyclone. Um, it's the Ice Blind, but um, this is Vendetta Sepsis. <laughs> so, uh, we have Trinket Revival. I see you're smashing it right now. Uh, we get it off. Bash on you. Yeah. That sucks. Um, a few a few things with this game is just uh, positioning-wise, we just went around the wrong side of the pillar. Definitely should have went on this side of the pillar with your Warrior. Just because you always want to be in line to heal him. And then another thing is the opener was pretty rough because we, we used pretty much everything, right? We used our warrior trinketed. I don't know what he trinketed. Actually, a kidney shot? 
We trink it. Mark for death kidney on your warrior. Kidney shot. Or, yeah, trink it. Cocoon. Regen. Yeah, no, that's that's a really... That's a, that's a unfortunate overlap, for sure. That's that's a lot of overlap. It sucks. Um, maybe maybe over here could have trinket revivaled sooner. Uh, also, yeah, obviously, I've talked about it, but went around the wrong side. Pillar, Ada, Cyclone. This right here, uh, we see Vendetta here with Sepsis. Just trinket revival. Uh, that's it. Um, the war, the druid isn't cl uh, close enough to really do anything to you. So trinket revival probably would have kept your warrior safe, and then would have let you roll into the smoke bomb if you could. But I think that would have been the only thing that saved you. So if you trinket revival that like that sixty eight percent health, right? The warriors at like what sixty eight, the trinket or kidney vendetta, steps to sixty eight percent with rally as well. So that would have been the only way you stayed alive. But I think that mostly came down to a pretty big overlap which again if you overlap with Mistweaver, weaver you're just there's no way to really recover from it you don't have a lot of buttons to press so if you overlap it just sucks <laughs> uh sap on you oh this is an outlaw work this time so this is gonna be a bit of a dampener i usually a nice blade your warrior blade storm to kidney which is also really cool um you should probably hit the pally i think outlaw rogues are really too tanky they're just too tanky, honestly. They they don't die. Uh, so I would say nice in cap here. Let's pick a target. Um potentially go for like blind on your warrior is kind of good. Um we we don't have a port up. So just make sure you get a port up, okay? And that way it helps you. Well, there's a few things it does. If the outlaw rogue wants to go you, it'll help you get out. They do have a lot of stuns for you because they can have the cooldown reduction on their kidney shot. Which is really annoying. Um, and then Pallies also have Hodge. They sometimes play Repentance. And then they sometimes play Blinding Light. So it kind of helps you avoid that. Um, but overall, it just makes makes me feel safer. <laughs> if I have a port up. So just keep that in mind. Oh, wait. No, do we? Oh, we do have a port up. Okay, I'm just blind. Uh, might be in the starting room, though. Uh, there's Hodge on you. We might be in range of it. Okay, okay. I, you just put it down. My bad. Um, nice port on the Resonator. So that's good. Uh, the that anima This animation right here this animation right here this uh kirian this uh, white white and blue rings that is the outlaw rogue kirian ability and he's gonna empower his combo points so that just means damage is coming <laughs> that's a little <laughs> a little insight into what's going on right now the outlaw rogue is doing damage so just be prepared it looks like we're just chilling right now we did use our port good disarm nice double leg sweep as well beautiful because the rogue trinketed the fear earlier adrenaline rush so we got a good disarmament from you i think we're doing pretty good right now roll away is probably a good idea don't want to stay stacked versus now i'll work for too long because they have the uh what is it flurry the blade flurry i think it's called blade flurry I, I i think that's what it's called it actually does like a good amount of damage so don't want to be stacked um kick into kidney shot on you actually a good strategy buy them that way you can't pour it i don't even think you had pour even if you wanted to but yeah you could just heal here bone just proof procs on you you're fine right now um doing a great job healing renewing mist on both you and your teammate and great crackle to get the mystic touch going overall rogue has no trinket so great disarm here what you could do is you just use your in-cap legs to appeal for yourself disarm if you get kicked or if you feel like you, you know you don't have any other buttons to press um but i think overall we're doing pretty good <sighs> Oh, gotta stop recording these late at night. Uh, good port here too on the kidney shot. Kidney shot hurts a lot. Also, yeah, fortifying brew of the sun. Okay, I would say so. What do we, we pre fortifying? I thought I saw something. We pre fort this go, this kidney shot on you. I would sit it for as long as you can. Um, you know, I. You have a 20% damage reduction and a shield. There's no major cooldowns being used by the rogue. I would recommend not stacking your fortifying brew, which is a three minute cooldown with your port, just because now you don't really have anything for the next stun on you. Try to stagger them out a little bit because next stun, we don't have uh, anything, but it was really good. It was, that was a really good fortifying brew. That was, that was really good. In cap there is good too. Um, Nice leg sweep, it's DR, but uh, might get a cooldown out of it. Nah, there's the blind on your warrior, which sucks. 
I don't know. Your warrior trinketed the first kidney last game, and now he's not trinketing a blind. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. But see, like, see, see, like right now, we have nothing for this. We have nothing for this kidney because we used our fortifying brew and port Lasco. I mean, it's I, again, it sucks, but I mean, small. I wouldn't even call it a mistake. You're just reacting to how you should, and yeah. Nice, nice revival there too for the resonator stuff. So I think overall doing pretty good. Nice stormbolt. Yeah, hit the rogue if you start, you know, taking a little heat. It looks like the pally's drinking. So stop it if you can. But your UI says that he's at full mana, so I don't know what that's about. But he's not, so I don't know. I think the UI is a little, uh, a little weird. Nice double fear. Good it, trinket from the rogue is really good to help you peel for yourself when, uh, if he's targeting you at least. Just be careful. I think outlaw rogue is always a bait. I think you always want to kill the healer. Or anyone that's not the outlaw rogue, and at least until later in dampening, just because they have so much health, they're so tanky, their cooldowns are so short. Uh, especially when you're playing with a melee, because they have uh, evasion and vanish and all that. Um, kick on you into a, into a kidney shot. We trinket it. Oh, re I really don't think this was. Is this uh? Is this adrenaline rush? I don't know if this is the best trinket, just because you're kicked. But maybe it works. It might work. I mean, you get a leg sweep out of it. It's DR, though. Maybe hold on to your leg sweep. How much longer do we have on stun DR? Is this full? Faint is down. Oh, no. It's a full leg sweep. Never mind. Don't figure out what I'm talking about. For some reason, I thought it was half. Yeah, no. We're doing, we're doing pretty good right now. I would say uh, overall, just trying to keep Mystic touching everybody. We get kicked again. Thunder Focus T with four set is going to be very helpful, especially when you're locked out. Yeah, no, we're doing good. Mana wise, we're definitely winning. Um, it's not. I don't. I don't even think it's really close. Sometimes I. I don't think most healers can out mana Miss Weaver. Great, do, great job doing damage here. Don't forget to put hots on your warrior in case they try to swap to you or your warrior. They're trying to put renewing mist as soon as you can on the warrior. Pally's drinking. Great leap to stop it. You can incap Rogue if you feel like he's about to, uh, you know, get out of your range. Nice disarm on the adrenaline rush is perfect. And I think I don't know what we're trying to do actually, because we don't have legs to bop on the storm bolt. Is annoying, but it's still good for you guys because at least now there's less bops and the Pally is on. I like, can't bubble for a little bit, so if you can get the damage out, should be fine. But I like that we're hitting the rogue as well as uh, the the pally. I think some cleave is really good versus holy pallies. Full fear. Make try to maybe prevent the resell from the rogue, even though I don't think it matters for outlaw rogues. Uh, maybe get a touch of death here. Yeah, defensive kidney is really good. That's actually resonator too. If we get in cap on the pally or something on the cast, it might actually get a kill. There's bubble. Perfect. Yep, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Kidney shot. We uh, leg sweep the rogue as well. So we're looking really 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 good put a renewing mist on your warrior also put on yourself don't stack versus ally rogues either just because again they can cleave like pretty well but yeah that's evasion from the rogue i just I, yeah no we're doing I, I just don't see us losing this game we're doing a great job the pally's taking a lot of heat maybe next stun can be a kill we also have um disarm for the rogue good perfect yeah i feel like the pally's about to die we can get it come on Defensive blind? Come on, get the get the touch of death. Work for it. <laughs> Getting there. Oh my god, it's so painful. That last like 10% just to get down the Todd range is so annoying. But yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. The warrior can finally connect. If we have a stun, we should be able to win. If you ever see a stun on the pally or a stun on anything, try to go for an in-cap on the off target as well. I don't know if we have it. Doubt we do. Got a kill. Nice. This game was great. Yeah, no, this this game was really, really good. Uh, well done with kiting and staying away and not stacking. Uh, great disarms. The rogue used a lot of defensive blinds, which I don't think is ideal. I feel like he should just train your warrior to the ground. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else, but no, you, you did fine. Like, perfect. Yeah, no, you, you did really good. Really, really good. Outlaw rogues are really annoying to play against, for sure. And now we have Rep Pally Frost Decay. Um... Okay, so this straight off the bat, are we gnome? Cute little gnome, we are. We're cute little gnomes. Um, I would play Chigi versus this, just straight up. I would, I would play, especially in twos. Yeah, I would, I would, I, I would play Chigi just because your warrior. If they go your warrior, you just win, right? Like, you could just free cast from forty yards away, but I, they're probably gonna go you. Uh, we don't have a port. 
down. I and we also f pro oh no, we use Battle Master for big fleshcraft. One thing that I've started doing with fleshcraft is waiting until I actually need it. So what I mean is I don't normally start with fleshcraft shield up. I wait until I use it to avoid CC or if teams are going to train me to the ground, I use it for an extra way to like juke them. That's pretty much what I've been doing. So um, it's worked for me. It helps me out a bit. Okay, we get crypt into destroyance. Normally, ideally, versus death knights, reset your port behind the pillar here, not here. And then when they grip you, try to port mid, uh, mid grip. It's nice. Helps a lot with the uh, the goes. And yeah, I think we're out of there. Port the stun if we have it. We trink it. We port. Use your gnome ratio as well. You could use your gnome ratio to get away. That's silence and stun on you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, that seems about right. Um, I think a few things. One, the fear was a little too early. The fear was a little too early by your warrior. You wanna you want your warrior to use the fear when in the heat of the battle. Like when you're gripped right here. And it right here. Th this is the fear right here. When the ro this when the pally comes in hot, boom, that's the fear right there. And all of a sudden the the they're, one of them's going to shrink it probably, and then you can leg sweep off that. Um, I think this game really comes down to uh, port placement. If you not, if you don't put your port in the middle of the like in line of the DK, they can't connect to you like that easily. So just keep that in mind. We do get sounds. This you just take a lot of freaking damage. God damn. Um, we have leg, we have fortifying brew as well and healing elixirs, but I think we get silenced. What do we do? We get silenced, but you still fort brew here. So keep that in mind. You still fort brew here, and you can leg sweep. So, you know, it's actually a lot of like just a DK at the end here. Um, yeah, it's a tough it's a tough matchup it, 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 for sure. I mean, does DK does does your warrior get the kill? No. Yeah. No, Bob. Um, but I think the first thing is the fear was a little too early from your warrior. And then the second major thing is your port wasn't LOS of the DK and the Reds, so they're just easy. They, they can easily reconnect to you. Uh, but yeah, no, those were great games. This I'll just go quickly go over the uh, like the games and just say, you know, I think this first game is fine. I, I actually think you played perfect this first game. Uh, try not to push in on a priest though. I, I know it's hard, um, but try your best not to. It it sucks. I know you have to get CC eventually. And then Sepsis is just annoying, right? Like, Sepsis is just, like, it's just an annoying spell. It's a cheese way to win. I think you guys deserve this win much more than the other team. You played, I think you played, like, really good. So, I wouldn't worry about this game too much. Assassination Rogues are a little weird to play against. This one, definitely there's some things that we could have done. The first thing was, oh, yeah, this is where we wasted, well, we wasted everything in the opener. Right? We overlapped everything in the opener, so... Uh, that's just miscommunication, which is fine. It happens. So just keep that in mind. Just I, the warrior triggering nothing and re regen nothing. You life cocoon nothing. Don't be scared to hold on to life cocoon. Like, um, if like for example, if you if your warrior sat this and you're free casting the rogue step kicks you, just in cap the rogue and disarm him, and then their damage is pretty much done. So keep that in mind. You do have ways to deal with things you know deal with you have tools to deal with getting kicked and stuff like that but i think it was just uh an overreaction i think some ptsd from other acid road games i can <laughs> i feel you and then positioning wise uh where was it yeah we just went around the wrong side of the pillar just stay with your warrior stay like uh over here 40 yards away from the other team make the druid push into you don't push into the druid and then if you ever do make some the mistake the druid is clearly i think it's pretty clear that he's cloning you maybe your warrior but i think he's out of range so just roll away from the druid just to make it, his life just a little bit more difficult i still think we could have potentially kept your warrior alive if we trinket revival just a little bit sooner like right when you saw the sepsis but even then i think you're still very far behind in next go you probably <laughs> one of you will probably die next go because uh you get punished for dispelling sepsis for some reason so yeah uh this game was good uh um, i would say pretty pretty perfect yeah, great job kiting. Great job keeping your hots on your teammates. Great job with, um, you know, healing yourself as along with your warrior because the outlaw was swapping around a lot. So I'm surprised your warrior held his trink for so long because I swear he triggered the kidney shot first, <laughs> the first kidney last game. And then, um, 
didn't shrink it blind. Oh, oh, one thing for this game though is try to stagger your fortifying brew when you pour it. Um, there was one. Where's the go? We were scared for one go because we used our fort brew. Where is it? It's right there. Two minutes ago. We used our fort brew and our pour at the same time. This was a great pre-fortifying brew. I see it's beautiful. Look at that. Mm, beautiful. It was a great pre-fortifying brew on the kidney shot, but we still pour it. I, you know, try to try to be a little bit greedy with the a, a pour. I know pour it seems like it's not a cooldown. It is absolutely one of your best defensive cooldowns. So hold on to it as long as you can especially if you pre-fort the go because you don't want to waste your pre-fort that that's that's an amazing outplay by you and then it's, i don't want to say it's wasted because it's amazing it's just this next go on you was very like you got down you if the row crit anything you're you're probably dead in this go like if 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 the pally did any damage during this you you were probably dead you know so you're at 11 so just keep that in mind try to stagger your cooldowns a little bit more, but I, you know, overall, still, you guys played perfect. So, uh, I like it a lot. You yeah, know, pretty good, good game. Uh, this one, this one is, it just comes down to your warrior. I think your warrior, your warrior still had rally at the end too. So it's not just you. You know, let's 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 blame the warrior too. No, uh, your warrior definitely still had rally. I think it, uh, the the fear was way too early. I don't know this fear. Versus double DPS, where the game's going to be quick. They're probably going to try to go you as the Mistweaver. Have your DPS save their peels, like their big, you know, their fears and stuff like that for when they go you and they use cooldowns. That way, they'll shrink at the fear probably, and then you can leg sweep off that. And then another thing, which we'll, we'll slightly blame you for, uh, the port placement is pretty pretty off here. Um, try to get it behind a pillar just because it, it makes it a lot, just to make it way more difficult for them to actually get to you. And then we we did have Fort Fortifying Brew and uh, Ages. I don't know if we have it. Um, I don't know if we have it um, equipped, but we we do have that. But we definitely still have Fort Brew and, and Healing Elixir. So you know, just keep your poor LOS. Have your warriors save fear for when you're actually in trouble, and you'll you'll win. So yeah, that is pretty much it for me. If you have any questions at all, if you have more games, uh, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Hopefully it's helpful for you or anyone who might be struggling. And that's it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.